Hello everyone and welcome to the Math Bender. I'm Adnan Zedi and in this section I'll talk about higher purchase. So before starting off, we need to understand what higher purchase is. So I'll just give you a scenario. For example, if you want to buy something that is a $400 and you don't have money in your pocket right now, neither in your account. When I say pocket, it means in your account. And you need that thing and you can pay divided equal monthly payments so you can get it but what is the catch for the shop owner or the bank which is giving you this opportunity to buy this and give amount in equal monthly installments so what happens is that you give them some money for example out of that 400 you try to give them $100 and the remaining $300 that you are not able to pay out front that is divided into equal monthly installments but the catch for the shop owner is that they add interest they add some more amount of money to it so that they will once the money is totally returned they will have more money instead of the cost price of that item that you were about to buy and for you the catch is that it's relatively easy rather than giving giving four hundred dollars out front it would be easy to make it in monthly installments of let's assume twenty five dollars thirty dollars a month and then it you won't be feeling in, as burdened so this is the offer that bank or a shop owner may give you by charging more amount of money and giving you an ease to pay the amount of money in equal monthly installments that's called higher purchase so let's look at some of the questions you'll get a clear idea how it goes so let's look at some of the questions related to these higher purchase so the cash price of a car is thirteen thousand dollar and martha pays an installment of for this car so which means if she wants to buy the car and she does not have thirteen thousand dollars there has to be another plan and the plan is that she deposits fifteen percent of the cash price initially so if i try to write that down i'll say that initially fifteen percent is to be deposited that's the down payment so the initial price of the car was thirteen thousand which was x which was 100% and 15% is to be paid at front which is so 100x is equals to 13000 times 15 and x is equals to 13000 times 15 over 100 So x is equals to 1950. This is the price that she's going to pay initially up front. Now after this, she then pays 24 monthly installments of 500 each. So then she pays. Next plan is to pay 500 each month. So, so each month she's paying five hundred dollars so after 24 months it's going to be 500 times 24 which is going to be 12,000 US dollars so she's gonna be paying 12,000 and then she was already paid 1950 so total amount she has paid after is 1950 plus 12,000 which is going to be 13950 dollars now in this amount as you can see that after paying taking a time of 24 months or two years she ends up paying 
13,950. The original cost of the car was 13,000. So she's paying $950 more on what she was buying at a cash price if she had it. So this 950 is the higher purchase initial price. So she's getting this at 13,950, paying 950 over the original price of that car. So let's look at another question. So Sean wants to go on a holiday. He is going to get a loan of 720 to help pay for the holiday. So the loan he's taking is 720. So Sean will have to pay back 720 plus 15% of the interest. So first step. So the loan money that he's taken is $720 and 15% more interest plus the interest means that what is the what would be the interest of bank in order to pay him or gave him the loan I mean I'm sure nobody would want him to go to on holidays if he's broke but since he's he's taking loan from the bank the bank would charge him extra money for it and that's at 15% so 15% is X percentage and that's the amount in dollars and 100% was 720 initial amount that he had loaned this will give you 100 X is equals to 15 times 720 so 100 X is going to be 108 Zero, 0 and dividing that by 100 would give you x is equals to 108 US dollars now this is the extra amount that he's gonna pay now total amount that he's going to pay is Seven twenty that he loaned plus one zero it that is the interest added to it. So adding both of them is going to be eight hundred and twenty eight, and he has to pay this in twelve monthly installments. So which means this total amount is to be paid in twelve equal installments. So each month is going to pay. 828 divided by 12 which is going to be 69 $69 each month that he has to pay equal installments let's look at another question here so let's look at another question here a shopkeeper wants to deposit 25% on a bicycle costing 400 So, the bike cost $400. So, I can write the data here. The cost of the bike is $400 US dollars. And he wants 25% initially on that and charges to another remaining amount. So, first thing, if you, let's say, if you want to buy this bike and you don't have $400 in your hand, so what you could do is first deposit 25% on. So first take out the 25% price that is there. So 25% that is in percent and is X, whereas 100% was the initial price, which is 400. So finding out how much weightage will that have. So 100 X is going to be 400 times 25 x is equals to 400 times 25 over 100 so x is going to be two zeros goes away and gives you hundred dollars so if you want to buy this bike you'll have to deposit hundred dollars upfront first thing next the bicycle owner is going to charge 20 percent extra on the remaining amount so 20% extra amount 
is going to be the remaining amount that you have to pay now. $300 and the bicycle owner is going to charge 20% extra on that so percentage and the amount in dollars so it's going to be now 20% x dollars which we don't know and the remaining amount is 100% which is $300 we cross them out it's going to be 100 x is equals to 20 times 300 and x is equals to 300 times 20 over 100 which gives you $60 that's the interest extra amount so that is this interest the extra amount which is 20% more the total cost of the bike is going to be so initially you've paid $100 and then you're paying 60 more and remaining of the 300 as well so the total cost is going to be 100 dollars that you've already paid as deposit plus 300 the remaining plus 60 that is the additional charge that is going to be there so it's going to be 460 total cost of the bicycle so this is all about higher purchase when you buy stuff which you don't have money at front and then you want to break it into installments i'll come up with a simple interest in my next session until then take care bye bye